She explored the old burned-down abbey, where she uncovered all manner of beautiful sight, but also haunting ones. Indeed, the Dance of Death painting had been added, or had additions, and there was a strange, ghost-like figure around. Could it have been a former artist of the area? Perhaps. But even more pressing was the deadline on the mural that she was painting at the Rat House, and also a grave note, perhaps from the thread puller, that read the exact same message her father had received. What would happen next? Who could say, this is Pentiment? Welcome back. Let's snooze. It's late. I should get some rest soon. Let's go to sleep and maybe get fucked up. I don't know. It's interesting, though, that they left the note to us now. Not when we first began, but now. You know? Hmm. Oh, we're doing a time skip, aren't we? Okay. Ooh, it's December. Okay. The 4th of December. Oh my gosh. The Reich's Postman has made another delivery. Alright. Mistress Druckerin, only one letter for you today. The pass is nigh impossible to traverse, and the heavy snow is hard on the horse and me. Anyway, happy advent, my dear. Aw. Thank you. Same to you. The postman is so kind. Ah, a reply from Jacob Estler. Oh, none from Esther? Yo, look at him. Look at him in his fucking pimp outfit. What the fuck? Are real life pimp outfits inspired by Archdeacon outfits? He really looks like a fucking pimp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gosh, I cannot even remember how I made him sound. He was such a minor character, relatively speaking, you know, as far as voice, uh, as far as like speaking roles. Damn, also look at Magdalene over here looking like a fucking Bloodborne Lord. <laughs> <laughs> With her, like, massive-ass, like, scarf shawl. Okay. Mistress Drakarin, I do recall the Rothvogel case. Though it has been over a decade since I have served as an archdeacon, I am no longer associated with the office of the Prince Bishop. In fact, I am no longer associated with the Catholic Church. What? If you do not mind conversing with a Lutheran, I will tell you what I remember. Oh. The notes you mention do stir something in my memory. One of the men I questioned at Kearsall was an artist from Nuremberg, Andreas Mahler. He mentioned finding notes written in a fine hand, inciting individuals to violence against the Baron. Wow, would he not remember? Like, what if we didn't say that? Because wasn't it possible for us to not bring it up? I want to say it was possible for us to not mention them whatsoever to the Archdeacon. While the scope of my investigation was too narrow to look into the matter, it did concern me. Finding more notes now, after so many years, must mean that their author is still active. If this is the case. A serpent has lain coiled in the bosom of your community for decades. It may, st it may lay there still. What causes this serpent to awaken 
every few years to stage a new killing. I fear that finding the answer to that question may draw you into its reach. However, if you are determined to find the source of the trouble, I believe you must inquire with your neighbors. I urge caution in your investigation into this matter. If the serpent merely sleeps, it may be dangerous to poke into its old resting places. I hope this has been of some help to you. May God keep, may God bless and keep you safe. Jacob Estler. Man. No reply from Mester this time. It must have been delayed due to the heavy snow. The postman said I won't receive any more letters until spring. I'd better get back to the rat house, then. Still, more work to be done. Oh, shit. Okay. Huh. So that was just an extra little bonus for us having done that. Oh my god. It is almost fucking Christmas. Wow. Holy shit. Is it going to land on the 24th? Whoa. Okay. Good morning, Dad. I finally caught up on the mural. And now I can finally... I can start final... And now I can start the final part today. A real typo. I promise I'll get it done. Magdalene, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry Dr. Stoltz said you can't come to the festivities tonight. I know how much you love the Perkton Loaf. A Germanic folk ritual celebrated around Christmas time. Oh, one word. Christmas time is sometimes written as one word? I fucking love that. Huh. In which townsfolk dress as Perkton and drive evil spirits from the town to protect it in the coming new year. Oh, perfect time for the killer, huh? Ah, uh, there's always next year. R right. How are you feeling? Dr. Stoltz said he would come by again today. Fine, fine, I'm... I'm fine. Are you sure? Do you need anything? Maybe I should stay home with you today. Alright. I'll come by later to check on you. Are you sure? Do you need anything? No, no. Go on. I'm alright. In fact, my spirits are lifted today. It's Christmas Eve, after all. Of course. Ellipses. Ellipses. What's wrong? Dad. I found a note. Back in November. A note? What do you mean? It was like a note I found in your plans for the murals. Just a scrap of parchment. It looked like it came out of an old manuscript. Hmm. Fuck. Huh. I don't know who that could point to. Wojslav? Who else would, would be into that? Right? That one doesn't help because it doesn't point to anyone. Meaning it could be anyone. It looked like it came from out of an old manuscript. Elaborate writing. Purple ink. It just said... Stop. Ellipses. Do you know where they came from? Who wrote them? Ellipses. Magdalene. I... Oh god, that must be Oates. He said he'd drop by with more firewood. Ellipses. 
If you know something, I'd like you to tell me, all right? I know. I will. Can we talk about it later? Dad. I'll tell you, I promise. All right. I'll be back later. Good. Take care of yourself out there. Watch this be a killer. <laughs> watch, watch it be them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Am I about to get fucked up? I'm gonna go answer the door and get fucked up. My money is still on it being um, someone at the church or them in cahoots. It's either a Molly or Father Thomas or both of them. That's my best guess right now. This better be fucking oats. Come on, you're not gonna try and fucking murder me in broad daylight, are you? Thank God it's oats. <laughs> Alright, look at you in your stupid hat. Alright. Morning, Magdalene. Morning, oats. Cold out, isn't it? <laughs> Freezing. Makes me envy Nico. Able to stay inside all day. Even Endris has his forge to keep him warm. Anyway, here. I brought some firewood for you and your dad. <laughs> Thank you, Oats. I could have managed. Thank you, Oats. Uh, you're welcome. Ellipses. So, uh... How's your dad? You think he can join everyone for Christmas Mass? I think he'll stay in bed tonight. I'll do my best to be there. I need to keep working on the mural, though. I'm working on the final section. Uh, about the Peasants' Revolt, right? It feels weird to talk about. It affected Tassing so much, but we're... We were just kids. I can't remember what happened since I was just a baby. I never even knew my dad. That's what makes it difficult. I need to ask those who were already adults that night. But don't want to touch raw nerves. Hmm. What if you spoke to people while everyone was preparing for the Christmas festivities? Clara sometimes talks about that night. Mom, too. You might be able to ask them. Wojslav and Matilda are the only two Benedictines left living in Tassing. Maybe they'll talk to me. Huh, I didn't think of that. Still, the mural is for Tassing, not the old Abbey. Agnes has always been in Tassing, right? I'd go to her if I were you. Dad said she helped bury everyone who died that night. I wonder if she'd talk about it. Oh my god, Agnes does everything for the fucking town. Jesus, this entire town is, like, built around Agnes. She's, like, the fucking... She's the real anchor, right? Without Agnes, the town fucking collapses. Oh, my God. She helps, like, literally everyone with the most wild-ass shit, right? Like, obviously, you know, you still need, like, people uh, working, like, the usual shit, like, uh, doing crafts and, like, making... Um, uh, food and meals and, like, preparing crops and shit. You still need all that. But holy fuck, Agnes is like the MVP of the entire town, frankly. Dad said she helped bury every bury everyone who bury everyone who died that night. I wonder if she'd talk about it. That's useless. She hates when anyone talks about the revolt. I wonder if she'd talk about it. It's your project, Magdalene. Might be worth a try. I wrote to the old archdeacon about it too. He thinks that the Baron's murder and Otto's death are connected to the revolt. The who? The man who came to Tassing for the Baron Rothvogel's murder? It doesn't matter. What if all the deaths in Tassing are connected? The old... Oh, never mind. Let's go with this. It doesn't matter. What if all the deaths in Tassing are connected... I don't see how that old baron has anything to do with the revolt. Are you feeling all right? I think you're looking for connections that aren't there. 
Maybe this mural project is getting to you. I need to get to the bottom of this, Oats. There's something more to all this. I know it. Maybe you're right. I just can't shake the feeling someone is following me. Ugh, you're useless. I need to get to the bottom of this, Oats. There's something more to all this. I know it. If you're sure. I'll figure it out somehow. Thanks for the wood. See you later, Mags. Ugh. <laughs> Oats is right. I should start talking to people around town. I'd better get started if I want to talk to everyone before the perked and loaf. Remembering the revolt. Okay. So are we meant to talk to literally everyone or just the adults and such? I mean, shit. It's like basically another month. We may as well talk to everyone we can, right? And we get to see snow, snow mode tassing, huh? We move terrifyingly fast for it being snowy. <laughs> Good for me as a player, but really... Uh, terrifying for me to look at Magdalene fly around on snow like this. Alright. Let's see. Oh. No Father Thomas. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Nothing new with the labyrinth, right? Yeah. Hmm. How mysterious. Maybe that that's just nothing. You know, maybe that's nothing and will always be nothing. Oh, we can check our map for leads. Honestly, I find checking the map to be way more, like, useful for getting... Like, now that I know who lives where, roughly. Like, looking at the map for all the objectives and stuff is way more valuable to me. Hmm. We should definitely go to the Abbey as well. It's definitely not required, but we should go there. Muller House. Oh, look at everybody. Hey, Paul. Hello, Magdalene. Anna. God bless you. Else, you were around. I can't talk to Else? Ulrike. Hello. Andreas. Magdalene. Kid's still got that hat. Very cute. Oh, look. They got some, like, little decoration or whatever going on. Huh. Wow. I like it. It's not much, but it's effective. All right. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. It looks so fucking beautiful. Let's go to the Abbey first, since it really seems like we don't need to be here. Anything or anyone around here? We might be able to, like, have a secret meeting with, um, Suzanne, right? Oh. The Upper Abbey is too snowed in. I won't be able to visit the Poor Clares for a while. Oh, fuck. Okay, we can't even go up there. Huh. All right. The valley looks so beautiful covered in snow. Yeah. I think that is part of why people find snow so beautiful because it's just a, such a cool change of pace and everything, right? Like if you if you live somewhere where it snows a lot, it's not as, as amazing, right? If anything, maybe it's more amazing when it on the times when it melts, if it ever does. Go over to the inn. Oh great. This fucking guy. Hey, Casimirs. What do you have to say? Hello, Magdalene. Hello again, Casimirs. How are you finding Tazing's winter? How have your performances gone? How have your performances gone? Hmm. 
Well, people like our mu music. I don't know why I asked about that. <laughs> like, that that doesn't really pertain to me or anything. <laughs> I don't know why. I just wanted to get to... I, I don't know. I was just curious. <laughs> All right. Are you looking forward to the Christmas feast? Are you looking forward to going home when the pass is clear? Are you looking forward to the feast? You better be. Yes. What kind of a device are you riding on? You're like able to erase it with your your hand. What is this? Fucking etch a sketch from the past? Alexander is upset about missing the competition, but it will be nice to perform for a large crowd. I'm sure everyone will love it. It's not often we get musicians of your skill in tassing. I'm looking forward to hearing you. I'm sure everyone will love it. Alexander? <laughs> I forgot. I made him sound really pompous, didn't I? How, how did I make him sound? It was like, well, if it isn't Magdalene. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> That's me. You're learning everyone's names during your stay? Learning everyone's names? Alas, it appears the good people of Tassing are the only audience I will have until the pass is clear. It seems only right that I attempt to put myself on friendly terms with you and your neighbors... How are you finding Tassing? Everyone has been quite kind, and no one has thrown anything at me for my music. Considering the circumstances, I'm counting that as a success. I have to admit, I was quite upset that I had missed my opportunity to sing at the Meistersinger competition. Oh, we can finally learn about it. Members of a guild for lyric poets, composers, and singers of unaccompanied art songs. Meister singers perform in regular competitions, often held at a rat house or church. Hmm. Oh. He practiced so much for it. Yes, it's hard not to view the last year as a waste. You can try again next Christmas, can't you? Really? The whole year's a waste? The whole year's a waste? Heh, <laughs> it seems like it. I don't know. Maybe I'll view it differently someday. I felt like everything was building up to this one performance, and now it's not going to happen. Well, you have an audience here. The people of Tassing. Is winning one contest really so important? Is winning one contest really so important? Oh, I suppose it does seem a bit silly, put that way. There is prestige to it, of course, but I think it's more than that. When I sing for people, I want to move them. I want to see it on their faces. It's only in that moment that I can connect with them. That's the only truth I know. Meister Singer judges will rate me as they will, but that's not why I want to perform for them. I want to move the masters the way they moved me. Does that make sense? I think so. My dad is my teacher and his approval means a lot to me. I'm not sure. I never really thought about it. Making art is just what I do to help my dad. I suppose... I make art for my own satisfaction. Yeah, I think, like like we I said before, I want to establish it to where my Magdalene has, like, she's fairly close with her father. My dad is my teacher, and his approval means a lot to me. I think we all want the approval of those who came before us. And someday someone will look to me for approval. Hard to imagine. <laughs> I'm sorry, just feeling a bit melancholy, I suppose. It's the long nights. Cheer up. Christmas is here. Of course, in our darkest hours, the birth of our Savior reminds us that dawn will follow. Perhaps the Christmas feast will lift my spirits. Will I see you there? Absolutely. 
Almost everyone in town should be there. Then I look forward to it. Until then. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright, let's check in with Hannah. Anything? Good morning. Killian? Hi. Okay. How about you, Hans? Oh, look at Wojslav, too. And Judah. Oh, and Matilda. I can't even click on Matilda. Oh, and you, uh... Simon? I think? Alright. Hey, Hans. Hello, Magdalene. Hello, Hans. Ellipses. Did you need something? How are you doing? Fine enough. Weather's getting colder. And the family? Healthy and hardworking. Simon's taking care of the winter provisions. He's a good boy. Proud of him. And you know how beautiful and kind-hearted Judah is. Just like her mother. I don't know how I got so lucky. She's a miracle. She will marry a good man soon, I'm sure. There aren't too many options in Tassing, though. Do you have someone in mind? Let's let's be very upfront. That young Oates is a good man, I've noticed. He's solid enough. I'm not so sure about him. His eyes seem to wander. Oates, really? He's a fool. He's solid enough. Takes after his father. All the same. When Judah has children, one day, they'll be beautiful and kind, like their mother. There are worse things to be, I guess. I did my best to raise her right, but her best qualities are all healwig. Give yourself a little credit, Hans. I miss her. Give yourself a little credit. Ellipses. Kind of you to say, Magdalene. I should, uh... I should get back to it. Until later. Until then. Wojslav? God bless you, Magdalene. Hello, Wojslav. I have an odd question for you. Oh? When I was exploring the abbey for the mural background, I stumbled upon some stray cats. Were there a lot of cats during your time? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, there were. There were always cats around the abbey, but one summer, they started begging for food. Persistent little creatures. Brother Lucas swears he never fed them, but I have my doubts. Well, they seem to have made the Abbey their home now. <laughs> Good for them. At least someone is making use of that old structure. Thank you for telling me, Magdalene. Be well, Wojslav. God bless you and your father, Magdalene. Dude, Wojslav fucking owns. Oh, we got Chiva. I don't even know what for. <laughs> Concluding on the cats. <laughs> okay. Judah. Ah, hello, Magdalene. Hello, Magdalene. How's the weather? We've been preparing for the feast in here all day. Fresh and brisk. Perfect for a walk. Colder than usual. I'm glad to be indoors now. Too damn cold. It's like this winter will never end. Colder than usual. I'm glad to be indoors now. It's been colder than I remember it being for decades. At least we're in here where we can keep our fingers warm. You'd better keep your fingers out of my dough, Master Bauer. I, I didn't do anything. You've snuck your little fingers into my cookie dough three times today. Do it again, and I'll wrap your knuckles with the back of my spoon. Don't anger Mistress Matilda, Simon. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, Mistress Matilda. <laughs> we need enough dough to make cookies for the entire town. 
You can't be eating it all. Anyway, what did you come in for, Magdalene? I was hoping you could tell me what you remember of the revolt. I was too young to remember much of it. No one ever seems to talk about it. And Mistress Matilda and Master Wojslav, you two are the only ones left who used to live in the Abbey. Uh, the only ones who stayed, anyway. Matilda and I have been friendly enough with the people in town. We put it behind us in time. You can imagine the other brothers had little reason to remain. Old Adik made it out. I think Father Gerno paid for him to go back to an abbey in Cornwall. I'm not sure what happened to the others. All gone, in any case. But... The whole thing is a sensitive subject, Magdalene. Why are you asking? I wanted to honor everyone who fought in the revolt, in the Rat House mural. I wanted to portray the events truthfully, in the mural. So I'm trying to hear everyone's account of events. I wanted to honor everyone who fought. That sounds lovely. I'll tell you what I remember, Magdalene. Wait, Magdalene here. Come cut out some cookies with me first. That way we don't fall behind while we chat. We'd be grateful for the help. Oh, fuck. All right, Magdalene. Cut out cookies from the dough and set them aside so Simon can put them on a tray. Sorry, I just felt like I had to click it. <laughs> just compelled to. We'll need a good number in a variety of shapes. So don't hesitate to change which cutter you use. We have enough for the whole town, after all. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Do one of these. Oh, fuck. Okay. Rotate. I see. Oh, it's very nice. Okay. How close can I get this? Oh, was I too close? There we go. Okay. Get some more birds going on. There we are. Chop that bird. Look at this. Look at how many fucking birds I'm getting. Fuck yes. Okay. And is that one good? Fuck yes, bird zone, baby. Okay. How about like this? Huh? That looks good. Right up in there. Fuck yes. Get some more. Oh, fuck. Okay. Good. Let's throw in some hearts here. Right? Looks good. Like that? Why not? Oh fuck. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe like this? Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Get some more. Oh fuck yes, dude. Okay. Uh, how about down here? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> okay. Cool. Am I gonna, like, get a Chivo or something for getting as many cookies, like, so and so many cookies out of this? <laughs> okay. How about... How about this fucking bird, baby? Let's send a bird right up in there. Oh, shit. That bird is too fucking chaotic. Okay. 
There we go. Nailed it. All right. Throw on another bird, just like shooting out of these. Hell yeah. Bird zone. Bird zone. Yes. Okay. Another bird zone right here, maybe? Oh, fuck. We got to twist that bird around. Fuck yeah, that'll do. Over here like this. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? I'm creating like some kind of wild ass mosaic. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Dance of Death mural and this is just what Andreas has drawn. <laughs> this this will also get added to it. It's like his his artist madness is also going to have displayed this. <laughs> uh let's see. Let's go with this. Oh, shit, we're off. Okay. That's no good. Eee. Oh, here, like this up here, maybe? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, right next to the bird. Oh, my gosh, beautiful. Okay. Get one right there. Fuck yes. Okay. I mean, that said, these, like, diamonds, these rhombuses or whatever you want to call them, these are probably the easiest. Let's be real. This is easy mode. Oh, fuck. And of course, I'm the greatest fool of all damn time. I cannot fit in another rhombus there, I don't think. Oh, shit, but you know what will fit? A fucking heart, baby, right? Oh, shit, it's too big. Oh, no. Okay, how about... <laughs> What <laughs> the fucking shit? Fuck it. Throw a bird up there. Boom. Hell yes. Okay. <laughs> this fucking rocks. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Right on the corner. Okay. Oh, fuck. That could have gone better. Okay. Oh, I'm too close to the edge. There we go. Okay, and then over on this one. Oh, shit. I'm dumb as hell. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, fuck it. We can recover from this. Just throw in more fucking birds, baby. Bird time. Fuck yeah, get in there. <laughs> this is so fucking mad. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Okay. Uh let's let's try and get this right here, like this. Oh shit, I'm dumb. Okay. That'll that'll have to do. <laughs> About <laughs> right here, this one? Come on, I can't do this one? Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh my gosh, come on. This can't be that much more different from printing, right? <laughs> this, is, this is basically the same. I should be like a master of this. Come on, where's my like mechanic skill or whatever coming in? <laughs> or mechanic skill, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking of my Pillars of Eternity character for some reason. <laughs> Come on, let's fucking get that shit in there. Fuck. Okay. There we go. Look, these birds are gonna smooch. Kind of. In a weird way. <laughs> okay. And then... Can I get in another fucking wild-ass bird here? Can I fucking fit a bird here or what? Holy shit, bird zone. Okay. Oh my gosh, look, these birds are like forming a mystical maneuver. Oh shit, no they're not. Okay. There there must be some space between birds. Okay. Good. How about over here? Can I throw in another rhombus or some shit? Right there. Come on. Give me a rhombus. 
Come on. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Come on. Right there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's close enough. That's good enough, right? My God, I hope she didn't want any circular cookies. I got two fucking... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you want me to do circular cookies? Fuck off. They're too easy. <laughs> They're too normal. I only want bird-shaped cookies. <laughs> Fuck. All right, can I, can I fit in one more bird? Fuck it. Boom. Can I fit in one more somewhere? No, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Good. Escape. Are you done? Oh, so many are the same shape. I'm sorry. Fuck. Let me try again. Fuck. I can try again. Okay. Fine. Oh, shit. All right. Now, don't forget, we need a lot of cookies in all the shapes, so don't just stick to one press. Fuck. Okay, 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 I got it. I got it. <laughs> this is so fucked up. <gasps> okay, okay, I got it. Easy. Look at this. Check this shit out. Boom. Boom. Ba boom. Uh Nice. Oh, yeah. Fucking them all up. All right. <laughs> Let's... Okay. Now what? Hmm. All right. Fuck. Um... Fuck it. Let's throw a fucking heart over here. Okay. We'll just, like, have it squeeze up in there. Mm, okay. And then squeeze this heart right up in here. Oh, shit, I laid it down. Oh, I'm the biggest fool of all time. Okay, okay. It's fine. We can recover from this. I mean, should I just get a little fucking wild? <laughs> should I just fucking get a little wild here? Or what? Look. Oh, shit, man. We're getting a little too wild. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the most chaotic one of all. Okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, we can fix this with birds. Birds, go. Flock to me. Go, birds. Fuck yes. Birds are saving the fucking day. Uh, bird recovery. Another bird. Oh, shit. Okay. Another bird. Oh, fuck. Okay. Another bird. And another bird. Oh. Okay. About. <laughs> like this. Another bird. Oh, fuck, dude. Okay. About right here. Another bird. Boom. The bird zone. Okay. How many hearts we got? How many? Okay. We still have. We still need more shit. Okay, fine. Boom. Let's get some circles down here. What the fuck? Okay. Fine. And then we'll throw a circle right there. Cool. Hmm, all right. Uh, what else can I do? I can throw a fucking bird here. Get fuck, fucking bird, dude. Get fucking birded on. Oh shit, hang on, let's rotate the bird. Oh, that's a beautiful bird right there. That's a fucking beautiful bird. Okay, how about up this way? Oh shit, that bird is too big. Right there. Come on. Let me shoot a bird right there. Fire that bird, dude. Fire that bird right there. Come on, that is a perfect bird zone. What the fuck are we doing? 
<laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, hang on. What if we what if we throw a bird here? Could you imagine a world where a bird goes here? I fucking can, dude. Hell yes. Look at that. Now we got six birds? Yeah, you weren't counting on that. Okay. Let's throw a fucking heart here, too. Right? Ooh, let's put it right between these birds. These are the love birds. Yes. <laughs> okay. Can I fit a heart in here somewhere? I fucking cannot. Okay. It can't be done. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. We got six. What else am I missing? I need one circle. Perfect spot for a circle right there. Boom. Nailed it. Should we get a little fucking wild with some more birds? Hell yeah. Throw in a bird right there. Throw in a fucking rhombus. Right here? Like this? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a little fucking wild. Okay. Put one right there. What the fuck? There we go. Can I fit in one more bird? No. Alright. How's that? Are you done? These look wonderful. Thank you. Fuck yeah. You can make more if you want. But it looks like we have enough. I think that's good for now. We got a fucking Chivo and everything. Hell yeah. She called me Mugdalen because I'm like fucking... I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I spent way too long on that. We'd better keep going if we're going to have everything ready by the procession tonight. So what can we tell you, Mags? I heard the Lansnecks came into town before the revolt and warned everyone to leave the Abbey alone. Could things really have been talked out, or was it too late by then? Why didn't anybody listen? They were trained soldiers and they killed so many people. Did the abbot really think threatening you would work? Could things really have been talked out, or was it too late by then? I think it was too late. There were some people who wanted to talk. Master Mahler worked hard to keep the peace, but after Otto was killed... Oh, Andreas, a shame how he died. We at the monastery were fond of him. Dad said he was instrumental in keeping the revolt from getting out of hand. He regrets not standing by him. Yes, he was. He had a personal... dinner with the abbot to try and discuss things, I believe. A pity they couldn't come to an agreement. Yes, Andreas did a lot of good for Tassig, and Kearsaw too. Even if the old abbot failed to admit that. He even revealed corruption in our own midst. The old prior Ferenc had been doing witchcraft in the church. I still grieve that he died in the abbey fire. I know your father does too, Magdalen. But wasn't the revolt in general justified? Wouldn't it have been best to leave the matter alone? It sounds like no one should have opposed the Abbey at all. Wasn't the revolt in general justified? Yes, I think so. We couldn't even collect the forest, collect in the forest without a fee. Dad kept saying we couldn't live with higher and higher taxes. The night Otto died... The abbot was trying to excommunicate everyone for celebrating St. John's Eve. 
A lot of people thought the abbot killed him in revenge. Turns out it was Brother Guy. He was embezzling funds from the abbey. Still, after Otto and Ulrich, that was too much. We burned the mill with both bastards inside. The abbot promised to help, and if help if Andreas found the person who killed Otto. All we wanted was to talk. But didn't you say you just burned down the mill? But the abbot ordered the Landschnecks to stop you? You mean no one was supposed to burn the abbey down? You mean no one was supposed to burn the abbey down? Why would anyone want that? We saw justice, not murder. It was too much for Peter. Leonard was one thing. He just killed Ulrich. But to burn the abbey. But when the Landschnecks saw the fire, they thought they had another revolt on their hands. Even Father Garneau couldn't stop them. We all fled. Brother Florian saved as many as he could, but... Peter was wrong to burn the abbey. But what the soldiers did, that was awful. I thought that knights were supposed to protect people, like in Parzival. Rarely does real life match the heroism of stories, Magdalen. Dad died protecting me. Stabbed in the chest. I don't even remember what he was wearing, but I remember how dark the blood was when we found him. Almost black and sticky like treacle. Dad socked one of the soldiers in the face, but another was right there, and... Ah, uh, Magdalene, can we stop talking about this? Of course, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset anyone. Yes, thank you for talking to me. I'll do my best on the mural. All right. Of course, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset anyone. Thanks, Magdalene. It's hard to discuss sometimes, you know. Good luck. We'll see you at the procession later. Until then. Yeah, everyone there in that room is generally pretty cool. All right, man. I spent way too long cooking or cutting fucking cookies. <laughs> All right. Well, when next we come back, we will continue our investigations around town. I think we got, yeah, we got everybody here in the inn. I don't know where Nico is, but I assume we'll catch up to him at some point, right? All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.